what's happening everyone why did i say like hey <laughs> why did I say like that? welcome back to the channel everyone and i hope that you're having a lovely one out there whether you're under the sun or under a cloud hope that the music's here to make you feel just a little bit better let's go ahead and listen to happy roads i've never heard of her i've never listened to anything as far as i know but we're going to listen to this song war paint which is off of the album of the same name, which was released in 1991. Like I said, I've never heard of her. I've never heard anything about her, but this particular artist really. Okay, well, here's the issue. A lot of people had been mentioning Happy Roads, but a lot of people have also been suggesting different songs. It wasn't one of those cases where it's like a clear consensus on this song or that song. I had a lot of different songs to pick from based on your recommendations. So I'm going with this one, war paints among you who had mentioned uh at least happy roads herself Kotro, cthulhu waits dreaming uh girl stelb stelb i'm sorry nelly's uh Kotro, you've really been pushing for uh for miss rhodes so i'm happy to give her a listen and james warner and then specifically those of you who had mentioned this song oh no, i gotta pull you up here uh rexman j Re rexman drake and bob i'm pretty sure there's been one other person because i thought i saw another name before um yeah yeah, Gerstelp, Gerstelp. So anyways, don't know a thing about her, but what better way to introduce ourselves than to listen to some of her art. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. It's coming, it's coming. It's loading. Fretless.
remember in the music video with Peter Gabriel and Kate Bush, Don't Give Up, and how close they were holding each other, just holding on to each other and not letting go? This is as if they had truly never let go, had a baby, and here comes Happy Roads. Somewhere in between the line of Peter Gabriel's musical diversity with the range, the storytelling, the compelling nature of Kate Bush, but at least based off of her first song, carving out her own niche somewhere within those legendary caves. This was such a phenomenal piece of music. I really enjoyed everything I heard. Now, I'm assuming those of you who had suggested Miss Rhodes to me probably already know what I like. So you, you probably already knew that in the first few seconds of the song playing, I'm gonna salivate and just, just be satisfied as soon as I hear the fretless bass. I hear it, I hear the slides, and I'm in, right? Then the light mystical percussion just wafting in the air. All right, you know I'm in. You, know, you already know that I'm in that atmosphere. When Happy starts singing, she sings in such a deep, low tone that I'm kind of taken aback. I'm like, oh, I didn't know we were starting down here. And then for the most part, the, the main spine of the song stays in that line, but I'm not seeing any backing vocals or additional vocals by anyone else. So I'm assuming every, every vocal piece in here is handled by Happy. And that is phenomenal. In the second half of the track, those, uh, uh, not like that, but the little side notes, very Kate Bush. If you wouldn't have told me and <laughs> take me back like years ago with no internet or anything, I would have said, Kate is starring in this track, just featuring some vocals. And then the chorus, kind of comes up a little bit into a more mid-range, which is just so impressive. The music, I guess, yes, the music as a whole, but just specifically her vocals are very, very colorful, very vibrant. There's many different hues in which she plays with just vocally. And I think that that comes across so fantastic in weaving this specific tapestry that she's weaving. That is awesome. The musicianship behind her is subtle, but it elevates, it flavors, it seasons perfectly the meat of her performance. This is good. You got Bob Vandetta on the bass. Mm, sounding really good in there. Now, I just listened to one song on this album, but I do see that All Music rated this album three out of five stars. I don't know. I can't speak to the rest of this, but this was not <laughs> this was not a three out of five song. In the red, all the cruelty dealt to one big soul in the black. All the hiding from the pain in the dark. Now as I go into battle, I am armed for the fight. With the knowledge of ten men, strength of nine, as I walk through fire, I am shielded from the flames. Although the guilty parties take no blame, don't try to tell me there's no reason for any moment in time. Every memory of mine, those years are lines of color on my face. My past is war paint. The past is war paint. So, I mean, just like the album cover, which I really like, um, the idea of putting on war paint, right? Getting ready for battle, getting ready for the fights, using it to intimidate um, the, the enemy. She says her past is war paint. So she uses her past to mark herself uh, to be used in the sense as an intimidation towards the enemy, but also as a strength towards herself. Whatever experience, perhaps it's pain, perhaps it's pleasure, perhaps it's none of the above, but whatever experiences she's had in the past is used as war paint for her future and to use against those against her. Every line represent the death of naivety. In the air, every eagle drop one feather just for me. There is a deafening war cry and it's ringing in my ears. It is drowning out floods of noisy tears on the path behind me. I leave many grave sight, every tombstone mark one conquered night. I like that. Every tombstone marks one conquered night. Like, you know, obviously someone's fallen, an enemy has fallen to her and she has conquered another night. She's not thinking so far ahead. Just take it one step at a time, one fight at a time. I fight to the death, I fight to the death. And at the very end, the lyrics reverse and you hear the music <laughs> reverse little be kind rewind blockbuster thing right there anyways wonderful music great track um yeah 
I like it a lot. Let me know what you guys thought though in the comments below. You can follow me in a few places that are here on the screen. Thank you as always for being here, for showing up, and just for listening and enjoying the, mu the music with me. I almost said new music, but maybe it is for you. Maybe it's not. For me, it, it pretty much always is. So, <laughs> so hope that you enjoyed it. Please come on back tomorrow, and I will see you all then, guys. Bye.